G'day guys and welcome back. So I do apologize about the lack of uploads over the last week or so. Uh, it's been getting a little bit quiet on the Werribee River. So because of that, I decided to go somewhere else and see if we can find a few big redfin. That was a hit. Yep. All right guys, so I've come to a spot here uh, where I've got to let you know, I've got to keep it a little bit secret, but it's kind of in the middle of nowhere. And uh, yeah, I've got this Stella here with the Palms pinwheel, and we've just got a integrated spinner jig head with a Munro's paddle tail. Now apparently in here there are some quite big red fins, so we're hoping this morning we might be able to find a couple. So we're just going to let this plastic sink down to the bottom, and we're just going to slowly hop it along the bottom, see if we can find a couple of fish. Now, I haven't actually been to this spot before, but I'm quite hopeful we might find something this morning. Apparently, there's a lot of good-sized redfin in here, so... It's only a small little fishery, so anything we catch will probably be put back. So just, uh... We don't want to impact the numbers too much in this little, uh, pond here. But, very hopeful we're going to find something this morning. So, we're just making our way around... Flicking the edges, flicking the middle, just fanning casts out in all different directions. See if we can find one of these big redfin in here. There we go, there's a fish. There's one. Here we go, I'd say it's a ready. I don't think there's anything else but redfin in here. There we go. That's a nice specimen to start the morning. There we go, guys. Beautiful little redfin there. And he has taken the Munro's glass monkey paddle with a TT Lewis jig spinner, underspin. So, let's just get this out of his gob. Here we go. Nice little specimen there. Alrighty. So we'll put him back. See ya, mate. Off you go. Hey, see ya, buddy. Go tell mum and dad we're here. Well, I wasn't sure if there were any fish in here. I thought I might have had a, a bit of a G up from old Frank who gave me this spot, but yeah, there are a few redfin in here by the look of it. So, might stay here a little bit longer and see if we can catch some more. Apparently there are some big ones in here, so. Hopefully we can find uh, his mum or dad. That would be ideal. There we go, there's another one. Not a little one. Tiny little redfin. He's a fish finger, this one. Little guy. There we go, a little bit of fun. See ya, buddy.
throw another cast out right where he was, see if the school's still there. I think I might go get my twin power. I think the, uh, the line roller bearing might be gone on this. It's just making a little bit of noise. Wouldn't surprise me if the line roller bearing's gone on this one. It's, uh, it's done a lot of work on the bass and it's been put under a fair bit of pressure. So quite possible the line roller bearing's gone. Plus it's probably not had it changed since it was new. So it's probably just about due for a service and uh, and all that stuff. So oh, let's fix up my plastic. Let's pull the pants down on it. It's all right. All fixed. Come on, where are these big red fin? Gotta be around here somewhere. Oh, that was a hit. Little fish again. Big red fin don't muck around. They'll take it and you'll hook them. But the little ones, because they've got such a small mouth, they can be a little bit tedious sometimes. All right, guys, so I went back to the car and I grabbed my Zodius and my Twin Power 1000 and I've thrown the same lure on this rod and reel, so. I'm going to try and break this one in a little bit more and hope we might even be able to attempt a big ready with it. Lighter gear, a little bit more finesse, so we'll hopefully see a few fish here. There we go, on bottom. Oh, there's one. First cast with it. You beauty. Another redfin. Little guy, but better than nothing, I suppose. Might be a little bit bigger than the last one. There we go. Top hook in the, uh, sorry, hook in the top jaw. So let's get that out. See you, mate. Cast it back out. Just letting it sink. <clears throat> it's a beautiful little spot here. There's cows in the paddocks there. Real picturesque. Nice line of conifers there as well. It's nice and relaxing. Oop. Oh, it just got touched then. Since it came down the bottom.
Oh, there, there, big red fin. There we go. Yes. Oh, I saw him come right in on that. Yes. Got him. Oh, yeah, look at him. Oh, that's a cracker of a ready. Get him in. Oh, yeah, that's more like it. There's a spider there as well. Let's just grab him. There we go, guys, look at that. What a beast. You wouldn't think that you get a red fin like that out of a little dam like this, but there you go. How good's that? What a good fish. He's got to be oh, mid thirties or so. I'm super happy with that. So what we'll do is just clean him up. We'll get a nice photo. Right, so we'll just get this soft plastic out of his gob. What a beautiful specimen. That's a great size redfin. I'm really happy about that. New location, big fish. So let's put the rod over here for a sec. Let's, uh, let's get him back. Off you go, mate. See you later. Yeah, you beauty. That was on the old faithful glass monkey paddle tail there. Super happy about that. You beauty. He came right in there, right on the edge of these reeds here and smacked it right at my feet. It's a great fish. Let's get this dirt off my hands. Probably not best to have it on your hands when you're handling a reel, a rod and reel, especially one that's uh, this nice. But yeah, I'd say that's officially this rod and reel christened now with a big red fin like that. You beauty, happy days. So hopefully we can get another one or two of those. I'll be very happy if we can. Well, I was asking for uh, the mum and dad of one of those, uh, those little guys there. It looks like they sent one of their parents to come say good day, which is fantastic. That makes me happy. Oh, there we go, there's one. Right at the end of the retrieve. Just another little guy there. Probably a bit bigger than some of the other ones I've gotten, but definitely not as big as the big one. So we'll just get the hook out. Alrighty buddy, see you later. Yeah, there's definitely a few redfin around in this little dam quite like it here to be honest might have to come back again someday well, there we go guys what a great little session that was uh, I reckon over the winter months I'll probably be coming back here see if we can find some more of those big redfin and even the little ones are a good bit of fun there so if you like this one please like comment and subscribe and I'll see you on the next one cheers